Well, here I am in early March at Craig Kerriglissiad in the Brecon Beacons, southernmost site for Purple Mountain Saxifrage, Saxifraga opposite And I've got to go up the north face of the crag, which is basically at that uh, gully at the junction between the sun and the shade. And uh, oh, it's great fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Will it be in flower? So here's the beautiful base of the crag. And there we are, lovely big rocks quite high up there, nice and steep. And there's lots of lovely birch wood here with a few grey leaved white beams and things like that. And it's just beautiful. And just over in the distance, there's Penny Van with some snow on. Well, here I am now, halfway up the cliff in the gully. Oh, it's just beautiful up here. There's nobody around. But, 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 but look! Yes, it's there! Purple Mountain Taxi Parade. So, this is a really uh, interesting species. It's here at its southern limit in Britain and it's one of the Arctic Alpines that gets right up as far as the north end of Greenland. It's about one of the closest things you can get to the North Pole. It's, al it's also scattered up through Europe and the Alps and things and gets up to very high altitude there. So here we are in the Brecon Beacons on old red sandstone. This bit's a bit calcareous because it doesn't like the acid and uh, it's already in bloom at the end of March. So uh, here are purple mountain saxifrage. So this purple saxifrage is probably one of the first plants to colonise after the end of the last glaciation. So it must have been here in the Brecon Beacons for 12, 13,000 years, something like that. It does make you wonder about what its future is with global warming. But it seems to be pretty stable at the moment, despite the last 20 years of, uh, of warming that we've had. Um, but it certainly knows exactly where to sit in the landscape. Because look at this, just beautiful. Right up at the top of the hill here. And uh, may it live here hereafter.